Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at Penny Arcade the game. This is um, a deck building game based on the Penny Arcade universe. Uh, let's take a look and see how it compares to other play deck offerings such as Ascension and see if it's worth picking up or and how it stands alongside other iOS titles. To create a game, you simply select the number of players you would like and choose whether they're AI or uh, human players. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and start the game. Uh, as you can see, the game is laid out similar to Ascension or also Dominion. In this case, you have certain piles of cards set out. And then you have a character which gives you a special ability for the game. The goal of the game is to amass enough power or tokens to defeat um, the boss monsters, which you can see at the end of the row. One is always defeated with tokens, one defeated with power. Uh, there are also cards that give you victory points, and so it's a balance of deciding which path you're going to go, whether you're going to focus on power or tokens, or sometimes it's also beneficial to focus on both. The game continues until one of the monsters has been defeated nine times. At this time, the game ends, and the player with the most victory points is the winner. Uh, generally, this will be the person who's managed to defeat the boss the most times, as those are one place where you'll get a lot of victory points. But there are also cards on the board that will give you victory points. There are attack and defense cards um, that will give the other players negative points as well as be able to defend against other player attacks or possibly these attacks can also make you discard cards or do other negative things. This game I believe is much more straightforward than Dominion or Ascension especially with the current number of expansions in these other games. Uh, the game really just focuses on amassing one of the two resources and then using that to progress in the game. You can hurt other players, which is generally beneficial, uh, but you're just doing it usually to slow them down and help yourself slightly. The game features an online component. As you can see, here's my profile, how many games I played, etc. at this point. Um, there are also, you can set up your own custom games. Um, it's important this game has an asynchronous feature, which I just learned about, which allows games to not prompt you when there's an attack in the middle of your turn, but rather have you deal with all of that at the end of your turn which will speed up games greatly. You can also adjust the game speed as well as confirmation pop-ups and other settings. You can have multiple games running at the same time. You can play with friends or strangers and all of the other uh, possible combinations. It is a pretty standard online play deck experience. Um, the only new thing is the asynchronous button, which I wish had been focused on more as it is sort of a new feature for them as with their other games, they generally try to modify the game to make it straight asynchronous rather than have mid-turn interruptions, uh, but they chose not to make this a uh, required option in this one. Apart from online, you have the standard uh, play deck sort of options. Uh, you can adjust the game speed, etc. You can also look at a card gallery if you appreciate the art and the theme of the cards, uh, and it's all available here if that's what you're looking for. The game also features a built-in rulebook that can walk you through the game, um, all the details of the rules. There's also a walkthrough tutorial which I used which was very helpful and allowed me to pick up the grasp of the game and it is actually very interesting. I wish the tutorial would actually cover some of the interface things that I spoke about with the online and also some of the setup for um, local gameplay. In conclusion, Penny Arcade the game is a very interesting deck builder. Um, if you like this genre, I definitely would try picking this up. It has the play deck polish that we've come to expect and feels a lot like the card game, functions in the same similar ways that we've seen before, and overall is a good experience. I definitely would recommend picking this up if you're a fan of deck builders and also a fan of play decks offerings. And if you're a fan of Penny Arcade, this is definitely a no-brainer. Uh, the art is there, the attempted humor is there, and all of the things that you love about Penny Arcade, the comic, are here in the app. It would be great to see um, a little more help on the online setup with the asynchronous button as that is kind of a new feature. Also a lot of the buttons in the online setup kind of uh, are unclear what they do as when you hit asynchronous for example it lights up the A but then does not change the text of the button so it's kind of hard to understand if something has been changed or not. Of course, that's getting down to a pretty granulated detail. Overall, the app is very great and works well. If you like deck builders, again, I recommend picking this up immediately. It is a great title. I personally uh, think this will be a staple for many gamers. However, for, for myself, I don't see it as a staple just because um, I'm a little put off by some of the thematic elements in the game. I think that some of the cards are a little risque for the group that I play around and children that are often over at my home. Um, however, I 
do think that it is a great game and it plays well. And if you like the theme and the genre, it could definitely be a staple for you. So I definitely say check this out if it interests you. Thank you.